Okay, here's my first homemade HF amp. Um, here's the transformer and the rectifier board, filtering caps. Uh, it's a one three dash five hundred Z tube. Uh, the plate choke I wound on a six inch Teflon dowel. It's uh, one hundred micro Henry's of inductance. Uh, was wound with two hundred degrees Celsius twenty four gauge wire. Got another blocking cap back there. You can see doorknob capacitor. Um, right now I don't have the all the tank coils in. You can just see it. right now I just have the ten meter tank coil in there uh, for testing. Seems to work great so far. Um, have my own custom gauges here that I made. Um, here we have the input band selection. I have a tuned input that I'm putting together for all the bands, 10 meters through 160 meters. Um, at idle, excuse the dog there, at idle, it runs at uh, 3,550 volts. Uh, currently I have it plugged into a, an extension cord, so the voltage is a little bit saggy. It's a low voltage outlet, so it won't show that here. Um, just have it temporarily set up for you guys. Show you my step start, how it powers up nice and slow, and uh, how it bleeds off. I have the fluke high voltage meter hooked up here uh, so we can watch both. And I'll go ahead and kick it on and watch it come up to voltage. Shoots right up to about 3,000, 2,900 volts or so. Then it kicks in, the relay snaps to the mains. That'll continue to climb up a little bit there. Uh, here I added a AM or sideband switch and a uh, automatic keying circuit or foot pedal. Uh, it can go either way. Here's my RCA jack for the foot pedal. I have another RCA jack on the back of the amp, so whichever one I want to use. Uh, at the time uh, so there it is there's my plate uh, plate current meter and of course my tune and load and right now right now like I said the voltage is a little saggy because of the extension cord so it's only at 3510 volts and I'll go ahead and show you the bleed down Go ahead and shut it down. Takes about three minutes to bleed down. And there it goes. We can watch the fluke. It's pretty accurate. 2,500 volts. 2,000. Does just fine. And I can fire it back up and it'll take right back off from there. Thirty-five hundred and twenty. Looks good. Works really well. I'll go ahead and pause it and uh, show you guys the undercarriage there and some of the workings there. Okay, here's part of the bottom. I still have some cleaning and tidying up to do and some tuned input work. But there's my uh, my bias. Uh, keen. I've got it set up as a grounded grid. There's my filament choke. Um, let's see here. Kind of hard to see in the light. Uh, turn that on. Maybe that'll help a little bit. It's my circuit breaker. Uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory, I guess. Filament transformer. Here's my uh, soft start resistor that I'm using. And a uh, timer relay. Here's my tuned input that I'm uh, working on. I got my silver micas in here and my tuned input slugs there. Uh, so, so far, it uh, does really good. I'm really happy with it. It'll do just over a thousand watts PP and uh, very happy. Well, hope you enjoyed. That's my first HF amp, and now I'm on to a much, much larger amp. Building a 4-1000 tube that'll do about 5,000 PEP. Enjoy.